Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will start a new chapter named as Periodic Classification of Metal, of Elements. Okay, so we will start with the earlier attempts of early attempts at the classification of elements so here one by one we will see how the different attempts were made by different scientists to find out what is periodic table how some physical properties of elements by seeing the physical properties of the elements and group them into one group okay so at last we will uh, get to know about the final periodic table okay so in this chapter we will see one by one the various attempts made by different scientists okay so so for example let's say if in a shop you go if in a shop uh, there is some classification of let's say soaps there is other classification of let's say it is toothpaste they are only the classification based on their physical properties okay so this is how the shopkeeper made the classification based on their properties okay so how this is how uh, the various attempts have been made till now to arrange the elements in periodic classifications okay in periodic manner so first we will see about the dobernier dobernier triads okay so in year 1817 johann so what was the full name of the scientist was johann wolfgang dobrinner okay he was a german physic chemist german chemist okay he tried to arrange the elements tried to arrange the elements with similar properties with similar properties okay so he identified he identified three groups ma mainly some groups some groups having three elements each that is why so he called this as triads because they are in the group of three so but he showed that when the three elements were written in order of increasing atomic masses okay so i am writing here so what he shows that when they are arranged when the these three elements are arranged in order of their increasing atomic masses the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the other two elements so for example let us take the triad consisting of lithium sodium and potassium so with the respective atomic mass 
the atomic mass of lithium is 6.9 sodium is 23 and of potassium it is 39 so what he tell is that this is the average near to the average of the other two elements so of the two elements the middle element is the average of the other two elements so this was the students Dobernier triads okay so more triads were like nitrogen potassium as okay okay and the atomic masses are like 40 31 and 74.9 so what he tell is the middle uh, element is the average of these two extreme elements so these are the triads so one more is cl vr iodine okay so the atomic number of atomic mass of this is 35.5 this is 79.9 and this is 126.9 so students these are the triads which dobernier gave us okay so i hope that this is pretty clear to you guys in the next lecture we will discuss about newland's law of octaves okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on newland law of octaves and if you have still any doubt or any question based on that then please do let me know thank you students happy learning